GPS satellites, unmanned drones, fucking laser sights. The more crutches you have, the more it hurts when they're kicked out from under you. If there's one thing I know for sure, it's that a six inch blade never loses reception. Scheme here, welcome back to another how to video. And today, I'm going to be showing you Thatcher as you can see from the title and the thumbnail. But Thatcher, there's not really anything too crazy to go into depth with him because his ability is just plain and simple. But we'll get that get into that in a second. So, Thatcher has the L85 just like Sledge, as you saw in the Sledge video. If you did watch that, make sure you go watch it if you haven't already. But Recoil, nothing too crazy. You can control it pretty easily. But the main difference is he doesn't have the SMG-11. And in my opinion, the SMG-11 is the best submachine pistol in all of Siege. But Thatcher only has his pistol, the P226, which isn't a bad pistol by any means, but in my preference, I like the SMG-11 a lot more. Pistol's nothing crazy. You can shoot it pretty fast if you need to. It does a pretty reasonable amount of damage for being a pistol. But, obviously you're going to want to use the L85. But, the pistol's there if you do run out of ammo. So, Thatcher, he's a support player. You're going to want to be one of the last guys inside the building. Or the bomb site. Wherever you're going to be attacking from first off with your team. But, Thatcher, he's the one that stays in the back, watches flanks along with Thermite, unless you're playing Thermite and you're just a straight fragger and you're Fragmite. But Thatcher, he watches flanks, makes sure no one's flanking around. He'll watch windows if we are attacking this site right here, which is garage. So he'd be watching windows if someone is to jump out, or he'd be watching yellow. He just stays in the back and makes sure everything is safe. That's his main goal, and that should be your main goal as a support player when playing Thatcher. Now, with Thatcher's ability, he has the EMP grenades, and the EMP grenades, when you throw them, you know, EMP stands for Electromagnetic Pulse, so it goes off and it destroys anything that is run by electricity, so gate charges, banded batteries, Jaeger ADSs. Uh, mute charges, stuff like that. Well, my disc, he destroys everything that's, you know, powered by batteries. So, this EMP has a pretty decent range when it goes off. You can kind of see the outline right there when it went off. But, it goes through walls, reinforcements, floors. So, if you are upstairs, or if you're kind of like below in the garage and you want to get something that's above you, like on a hatch, you can do that. If they, for some reason, have the hatch reinforced above, you can kind of angle it into a corner and it'll get things to the floor if you need that. But mainly, you're going to be using Thatcher and Thermite together to prevent bandit tricks or cage tricks or mute tricks. Some, just all of those, you're going to have to work together with the Thermite. So you're going to want to throw one Thatcher to get rid of things. And then Thermite's going to place his charge, and then you're going to throw another Thatcher grenade. It's all about timing when playing Thatcher, but the main goal with Thatcher when playing him is being that support character. Watching the flanks, make sure no one is going to go for the bomb whenever someone's trying to plant. So you're going to be watching out for your entry frags and your flexes. Just watch your flanks. Stay with the Thermite or the Humana, whoever's in the back. Just watch flanks, and if everyone dies in the beginning, it's up to you to clutch up and win the round for your team. But that's the basics of playing Thatcher. He has the EMP grenades, L85, nothing too crazy about it. Moderate recoil that you can control. But the main downside, again, is he doesn't have the SMG-11. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.